In this video, I'll show you how to create a printable certificate in Storyline 360. Now, all you really need is a place for the learner, the user, to type in whatever information you want to have end up on the certificate. So in my example here, I'm asking for first and last name and today's date. When I select the next button, I'm presented with a certificate that I can now print. Let's first take a look at how this is built under the hood and then we'll build it from scratch. So in my storyline project, I have a slide here where I'm asking the user to enter in their first and last name along with today's date. And if you look over at my trigger panel, there are two triggers that are happening. One is to set a date equal to the typed value when that date field loses focus and one to set the name equal to the typed value when the name field loses focus. Both of those are inputs that we'll put on our slide. On my second slide, the actual certificate, I'm calling back out to those inputs that the user put onto that first slide. And both of those are just using variables. So let's go ahead and build this from scratch. Let's start with a completely blank slide. Somewhere in my course, I need to have a place for my learners to insert the information that I want on that certificate. For this example, let's say we want to know their first and last name and today's date. From my Insert tab, I'll come over to the Input section and insert a text entry field. I'll draw that text entry field on my screen and I can change the hint or prompt text here. Let's rename that object on our timeline. And looking over at my triggers panel, I can see that Storyline has created a trigger that says set text entry equal to the typed value when the name field loses focus. Text entry is a variable that Storyline would like to store under the hood. In my manage project variables area, I should rename that text entry so that I'll know what it is. I'll rename this one name. For the date, we could either duplicate this text entry field or we could come up to the insert tab and insert another text entry field. I'll just draw another one on my screen and this one will be today's date. I should rename that one on my timeline as well. Rename that something like date. And I have another object trigger to set another text entry field equal to the type value when that field loses focus. And loses focus just means that the learner is going to click into something else on the slide or maybe the next button, but their cursor will no longer be active in that field. We'll rename that variable as well. And we'll rename that one date. I now have the inputs for my certificate. Storyline is gonna save the information that the learner types into this slide, and I just need the certificate design to pull that information back out. I now just need to create the slide that is going to actually be my certificate. So I can create a new slide and just make a blank slide. To call back to the information that my learners would have entered, I need to insert some references to the variables that have the information Storyline was saving. And to do that, I'll just insert a text box and draw that somewhere on my slide. To reference those variables, I need to come up to my Insert tab and then choose Insert Reference. Let's first reference the learner's name. By selecting Insert Reference, I can pick the variable that I want to reference and click OK. And I'll see the name of that variable in my text box. Let's add some more information. I just typed some more text in here, and now I want to reference the date that my learner entered. I can do this in this text box, or I could add another text box. I'll just do it in this one. Back on my Insert tab, I just need to insert another reference and reference that date and press OK. So I'm seeing name has completed this employee onboarding course on date. I can turn this into a certificate and make this look however I want. Now that this is starting to look more like a certificate, we can preview the entire scene to see how it works. In my preview dropdown, I'll preview the entire scene 
and input my information on the first slide. When I select the next button, I see the information that I typed in on the previous slide because Storyline is referencing those variables. Last but not least, I'd like this to be a printable slide if my learners want to print out their certificate. I'll go ahead and insert a button on this slide and just call it print. I need two triggers for this button to work properly, but let's start with printing the slide itself. I'll create a new trigger. And what do I wanna do? I want to print the slide, this slide, when the user clicks that button, and then I'll click OK. But the second thing that I want to have happen is for that button to be hidden because I don't want that print button to show up on my certificate. So I'll create one more trigger to change the state of that button to hidden. This time I'll change the state of button one to hidden when the user clicks on it. But trigger order matters in Storyline and I have two triggers happening at the same time. I need that button to be hidden first before the slide prints. So I'll move that button up in my trigger order. Finally, I'm ready to test this to make sure it all works. I'll publish to Review360 to make sure that my variables, my references, and my print button are all working correctly. Here in Review, I'll insert my first and last name, today's date, and press the Next button. I see my certificate and when I click that print button, the print works correctly and that print button doesn't show up on my slide. Hopefully that gives you some ideas for creating printable certificates in Storyline 360.